so we were discussing about uh, models of uh, uh, website so two models uh, hubs and uh, authorities so we were discussing about the authorities so authorities uh, it's uh, because uh, uh, Ultimately, people would gravitate towards the pages that provide the most complete and uh, authoritative uh, information on a particular subject. So, if uh, any web page, if it is giving more uh, genuine or fact information, um, authorized information uh, on any particular subject, so it will attract more uh, number of people. So this could be factual information. It will be uh, fact, uh, pay, uh, factual information um, or factual news uh, or uh, uh, correct advice, user reviews, etc. Uh, these websites would have the most number of inbound links from other websites. And so uh, yeah, another thing is inbound links. So uh, inbound links are nothing but uh, if you are coming to this uh, page from different different uh, web pages so it is called inbound links so uh, such kind of uh, web pages will have more number of inbound links thus myoclinic.com would serve as an authoritative uh, page uh, for expert medical opinion newyorktimes.com would serve as an authoritative uh, page for daily news. So these are the uh, websites uh, which gives uh, more factual information uh, for daily news uh, and uh, 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 myoclinic.com it gives uh, more uh, factual information about the medical opinion newyorktimes.com it gives more factual information about the daily news another is web usage mining as a user clicks uh, uh, anywhere on a web page or application the action is recorded uh, by many entities in the uh, in many locations so if uh, you are clicking on a web page anywhere so it will be your click will be recorded uh, many at uh, uh, many places the browser at the client machine will record the click and the web server providing the content would also make a record of the pages served and the user activity on those pages so browser at the client machine will record the click so a browser which whatever your browser is like google chrome or mozilla firefox so it will record your click in the client machine and the web server providing the content would also make a record of the pages served so uh, suppose you are uh, you have uh, uh, requested for a web page from a server so that server will also make a record for uh, the web pages which have been requested uh, and user activity on those pages so what uh, uh, users so what activity it is playing on the web page that will also be uh, recorded the entities between the client and the server such as the router proxy server or ad server uh, two would record that click. The entities between the client and the server, uh, such as router, uh, proxy server, or ad server, uh, two would record that. So apart from these uh, browsers and server, uh, so other entities which will record the client activity are uh, router, proxy server, ad server, uh, etc. The goal of web usage mining is to extract useful information and uh, patterns from the uh, data generated through web page visits and 
transaction. So what is the goal of this uh, uh, web pages, uh, web usage mining is to extract useful information, to get useful information, how many uh, users have accessed this web page, what are activities they have uh, mm, done, and what is the popularity of that web page, what are the patterns from the data generated through web page visits and transactions. So all these things can be uh, used. The web content could be analyzed at multiple levels. The servers, uh, yeah, web contents can be analyzed at different different levels. Now first is uh, the server inside, the server side analysis would show the relative popularity of the web pages accessed. Uh, those websites could be hubs and authorities. So uh, at the server side analysis, web pages analysis could show the relative popularity of the web page accessed. So uh, those we websites could be hubs or authorities. Second is uh, uh, the client side analysis could focus on usage pattern or the actual content consumed and created by the users. Um, so actual uh, if any uh, actual or original users have created any content on the web page that can be uh, analyzed uh, on the uh, client side. Uh, usage pattern could be analyzed using click stream analysis that is uh, analyzing web activity for patterns of sequence of clicks and the location and duration of visits on the websites. Usage pattern could be analyzed using click stream. Yeah, uh, so using a click stream. Uh, uh, web pages usage can be analyzed. Uh, analyzing web activity for patterns of sequence of clicks and the location and duration of visits on web. Uh, what are the different sequence of clicks are there and what are the different location um, and duration of uh, web uh, sites visits are there. Uh, click stream analysis can be useful for web activity analysis, software testing, market research, and analyzing employee productivity. So, click stream is very useful uh, uh, application um, which can be used to do uh, the uh, web activity analysis, software testing, market research and analyzing employee productivity and all those things. Textual information accessed on the pages retrieved by users could be analyzed using text mining techniques. So uh, what are the text has been accessed on any web page uh, by users? It could be analyzed using the text mining techniques. The text would be gathered and structured using the bag of words technique to build to build a term document matrix. The text would be gathered and structured using the bag of word technique. So there is a bag of word technique which is used to, to gather the text uh, in the website. Uh, to build a term document matrix. Yeah, term document matrix which uh, has been discussed uh, uh, in the earlier slides. The ma uh, This matrix uh, could then be mined using cluster analysis and association rules for patterns such as popular topics, user segmentation and sentiments analysis. So uh, this matrix could then be mined using uh, cluster analysis and uh, association rules for patterns uh, such as popular topics, user segmentation and sentiment analysis. So this uh, uh, textual information can be used.